Welcome to another SEM Rush platform walkthrough. My name is Ross Tavendale from Type A Media. Today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking into the keyword overview tool. Uh, in particular, we're going to be looking at the keyword magic section of that, which is great for gathering some kind of keyword competitive intelligence, um, as well as doing your kind of standard keyword research. So let's have a dive in and, and let's see how we use it as an agency uh, and how you can use it to get the best results in your next SEO campaign. Okay, so first thing we see here in keyword overview, you can start putting in your keyword here. So if I want to get some top level information about the keyword I'm targeting, we can go here. For example, I'm using a laptop. Um, one of the great things about SEMrush is it understands where you are straight away. So I'm in the UK, so at the moment it's defaulting into the UK, um, which is great. One of the things in particular also shows the correct currency. Um, so going in here, now, the first thing that draws my attention is the trend graph. So um, for those who don't know, this is from January all the way up to December. So no real surprises here that laptops get more competitive and more people are looking for them over time, in particular December. Um, so this is really important because if you're putting together any sort of keyword campaign and you start targeting laptops in particular, maybe in April or may then you're not going to get the same search volume that you should expect now moving down um, we can see here this is coming from ppc so this is what people are bidding on inside of adwords so we can see here we can get the entire report so i can download twenty thousand keywords and um, that are phrase match related to laptops now laptops is a bit broad um, so that's why there's so many um, so we can get them downloaded in the entire report and export them out into excel and we can start manipulate them. Um, another really cool part of this is actually seeing um, the actual ad copy themselves, which we're going to go into in a little bit more in a second. Uh, and for those that are you know doing any sort of shopping feed stuff with your PLAs, um, you can actually see the main uh, competitors there for all of that stuff. Um, again, just really good ad insights at a keyword level. You don't really get that anywhere else. Um, and one of the things I really like to do, especially when I'm building out any of my keyword lists, I actually like to hit the keyword and I like to pull the top 10. I like to then go in, take this URL here or take the top 10 URLs and put them back in to this box. But instead of keyword overview, I would go to domain overview and what that would allow me to do is see even more keywords related to that particular landing page. Um, now you'll notice there's navigation on the left here, but there's also navigation going across here. Um, this is the same thing. So if you click on to phrase match, what it's going to do is going to show you all of the phrase match keywords related to it. And then the same for related keywords. Um, I want to go into ads history for a little bit because this is particularly special in my mind. So even if you're not a PPC person, um, when you're writing your titles and your descriptions, so your, your kind of classic metadata um, on the site to optimize each of the pages, um, it sometimes pays to know what keywords people are using to get high click-through rates and obviously to con convert. Now, for a term like laptop or laptops, um, the advertisers on this are going to be spending thousands and thousands of pounds um, and they're going to be showing these ads to hundreds of thousands of people. So if they're doing that, we can pretty much guarantee that they've got some of the best ad copy out there, or at least you would hope they've got the best ad copy out there. Um, so when we look into it, what I can actually see is Lenovo. This is every single piece of ad copy they've actually ever created. So from my point of view, I want to see, you know, is there any changes in this over time? Uh, and if there is, what are they changing? Because if they're changing something and testing it and then sticking for something for a large period of time, it's highly likely that that gets the best click-through rate for them and gives them the best ad rank. So something you could use for your own PPC campaign, or what I like to do is I actually like to use it for my titles and my descriptions, because I think one of the things we forget as SEOs, the PPC guys, like, you know, it's a big battle against, as I know, especially if you're uh, agency side. But the click-through rates are really important to um, ad rank, and it actually lowers the cost over time if you're getting good click-through rate and good quality score. Um, so these guys are spending a ton of money on this all the time, so it might be a good idea to actually check it out um, for all of the kind of main competitors. Now that's a really brief overview of what's going on there. Of course you can switch between desktop and mobile anything you want. I can't believe they've got 131 countries, that's a mental amount of data. 
Um, the really cool thing about the um, keyword analytics in SEMrush is keyword difficulty and in particular keyword magic. So if I was in two minds about a new campaign I wanted to run or perhaps I'm launching a new bit of the site, um, okay, we've got laptops here, but you know, what about tablets? What about desktop? Um, and what about iPads? Like what is gonna be the hardest thing to rank for here? Um, so what it'll actually do is it'll go in and they've got their own proprietary metrics and they actually look at how difficult it is to rank according to things like links and content on the page and all that sort of stuff. Um, but that's not the best thing about this. The best thing about it is SERP features. So for tablets, desktop and iPads, I can actually see that the knowledge panel exists for every single one of them and also top stories. Now what that tells me is this SERP is not actually dominated by your standard e-commerce listings, it's dominated by press. So when I'm developing a strategy, if I want to you know, rank for laptops, things like that, I probably want to be doing it through some QDF style, query deserves freshness style content that's date stamped and is more of a editorial news piece rather than your classic e-commerce listing because it looks like e-commerce listings don't actually feature that highly in these types of listings. So really interesting intelligence here and you can literally get that across thousands of keywords. In terms of comparisons, you can get 100 keywords in here at a time and you can compare them all together. So it, it does really help, especially if you start seeing things like featured snippets, if you're doing anything local and you see the local pack for certain keywords and the local pack for, uh, without uh, the local pack for other keywords, you know that you'll need to completely change your strategy and your way of thinking in terms of ranking those words. Now, this is in beta, but uh, I honestly think this is the best part of all of the keyword analytics tools. So we don't use AdWords at Type A Media for all of our keyword research, we use this. It, it's kind of reminiscent to me of like the old kind of wonder wheel, and it's also got a bit of Uber suggest in there. It's really useful. So let's, let's go in and we'll go for laptops again, and we'll do a search. Now, what this is actually doing is it's pulling in every single phrase match keyword, but it's now categorizing them according to commonalities in the keyword. So if you're doing PPC and you're looking to split out by ad groups, this is a here, or if you're doing SEO and you're looking to bulk out your navigation or build your navigation with correct information architecture, this is another great way to do it. Couple of features that I really like. Um, you can actually negative stuff out up here. So if I'm like, oh, I don't want to do deals, I'm not interested in deals. Um, I can remove all deals based keywords. You can also do it depending on the intent. So if there's some um, you know, commercial intent that you don't like, let's say you do really high end, so you probably want to get rid of the term cheap, so we can knock that out. Um, if you don't want to do it one by one, what you can actually do is this little icon here you can filter out the entire group, um, which is really pretty special if you think about it. Um, another one, you, what you can do is you can actually drill down into the group and see more inside of it. So this is all Windows laptop uh, keywords in here. And of course you get your kind of standard metrics here. But what we can actually do is we can click down and oh, here we go. So it's a group within a group. So when it comes to building out navigations or building out campaigns and ad groups, this is kind of doing it for me. So I know that, you know, inside of Windows laptops, we've got Windows 10, 7 and 8. So those are definitely their own thing. And then we can click into that again. And we can just drill down and drill down and drill down until we get right into the specific words that we want to target. So in terms of finding long tail opportunities, this is going to find it for you very, very quickly. In terms of building structure out for a website in the navigation or doing your PPC uh, campaign, structure out the campaigns and the ad groups, this thing is going to save you so much time. Um, so this is how we, we tend to use it. So let, let's just show you how um, we can then start grouping these up and using them for keyword research. So just select the top four there. We can then add it to the keyword analyzer. So we're going to add it to... Here we go, it says it's done it there. And then I'm gonna go up to the keyword analyzer and what it's gonna show me, so it takes a little bit, bit of time for the data to come in. Uh, it's gonna show me keyword difficulty, all the cert features, click potential, things of that nature. Um, and we can just start bucketing these in and we can start tagging these up 
as the different um, categories that we're looking to target. Um, we can obviously change the list name here as well. Um, per list, you can do a thousand. I wouldn't do that. Um, if you've got a list of a thousand keywords, um, you've lost all your targeting, you've lost all your relevance. What I tend to do is I tend to put them into buckets of a hundred or so and split them inside of that. There's kind of 10 major groups. Um, just so much data and it's so incredibly quick. Um, the database is incredibly accurate as well. Uh, one of the, my big pet peeves with AdWords is you're not always getting the correct data because it's either sampled or it's pulling in a bunch of different keywords for the same thing and overinflating your numbers. This isn't, and you can see here that it's also saving the list here, so I can go back into that absolutely any time and check it out. Um, and it also lets me drill down according to match types as well. So I mean, yeah, in terms of getting your keyword research done really quickly, this is exactly how we do it. Um, the nice thing is it's got a direct export as well, so you can get it out, get it in a pivot table and start to understand the data a little bit more. Um, so I mean, that's everything for me uh, just now. Go and check out the keyword analytics tool. I think you're going to have a, a great time with it. Um, and just see how quickly you can do your keyword research when all you need to do is put in your top level keyword, click a button, and it does it all for you. Um, if you want to get in touch and let me know or ask me any questions about it, I'm at rtavs on Twitter. Uh, otherwise, you can email help at semrush.com uh, and those guys will help you out too. So that's all from me. I'll see you later.